Rachel Archelaus. Thanks for coming to class today. We are learning how to transform our emotions, transmute our stuck emotions through painting. And not just any painting, through expressive painting. Um, it's really fun. You use your hands and it gets you in touch with all of your old feelings, all the stuff that's stuck in you, that's causing you pains and obsessive thoughts and anxiety and all that stuff. Um, and it's allowing you to release them in a really healthy and actually fun way. So I just created two paintings that you're gonna get to see in a moment. They look completely different at the end, but you'll see that I used my hands for both of them. Now, I do have some pointers for you if you're going to try to use painting to get rid of some old emotional stuff. One would be to really get into the zone before you start. So what I like to do, if I'm really going to do like an emotional thing, an emotional release, then I put on some music that will bring up the emotion that I'm trying to release. Now it's funny because you think, well, aren't you just then painting out the emotion that the music is giving you? Well, the only thing that the music could do is trigger your own stuff. So if you weren't already sad, sad music would not make you feel sad. If you weren't already angry, angry music wouldn't already make you, wouldn't make you angry. And so it's not actually the music that is giving you those feelings, it's just that the music is triggering your own feelings. If you think about emotions like this, we all have this huge iceberg of emotions inside of us. And the, the stuff we're aware of is really just the tip. Like 98% of a real iceberg is underwater. And so if you think about that, 98% of your emotions you're not even aware of. It's just junk stuck inside of you. And so that's why so many different things will trigger you, like music. So put on music that makes you feel angry, sad, excited, whatever kind of emotion you want to get out. It doesn't have to be negative. Um, put the music on. Wait until you're really feeling it. Try to get into it. And then set up your canvas. Sit on the floor, go outside, and uh, have your canvas there or your paper. Put your palette next to you so it's within easy reach and just let go. Don't think about anything. Don't think about the emotion. Don't think about the feeling. Once it's there inside of you, all you have to do is just let it out. And that's going to happen. So you just automatically go on autopilot. You dunk your hand into the paints and you start going. And you'll know when you're done, either when you've run out of space on your canvas or when you feel like, oh, I feel better now. I'm done now. Sometimes you'll want to do another painting. I did two today, for example. And sometimes you will just keep re going over the same painting over and over and over again because you'll see that it's actually quite enjoyable. Because the feeling of the paint on your hands, it feels so good, it's so slimy and yummy. Um, you might just not want to stop doing that because that in itself is therapeutic. So, you are now ready to do your own emotional releasing through painting. So just get your canvas or your paper, get your paints, and let it rip. I would definitely love to hear how you do with this, and if you have any blocks, if you have any uh, finished artwork to show me, I would love to put that up for you so we can show the whole world. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear if you have any tips for me. And if you want to do this in person with me, I am hosting this exact thing on Saturday, this Saturday, July 13th at 1 o'clock. It's going to be outside, so wear sunscreen and bring your painting clothes because you don't want to get your regular clothes all painty, unless you do, which is fine with me. We're going to go through this process for two hours. Um, I provide the canvas, I provide the paint, so don't worry about any of that. We're going to tap into several different emotions. We're going to get it all out. We're going to feel so good. You're going to say goodbye to that blondness that you have during the day. Because so many of us are just trapped by this web of old feelings that we don't even get to experience the good ones. Because if you are not allowing yourself to feel the bad ones, you cannot feel the good ones. It's a polarity. So let's get you out of those old ones so that you can start really, really feeling the good ones, engaging with life, being who you really are, and feeling awesome. So if you're interested, let me know. I do have a sign up at my site on the classes page, psychiclife.tv. Just go up to the top, go to classes, and learn more. I would love to see you there. Bye-bye. Lots of love.
please feel free to share this video with anyone you think might be interested. And if you're not already on the list, go over to psychiclife.tv and get yourself on there. You'll get more readings, videos, and blog posts.